Okay, so it appears that Jordan Peterson, Kermit the Frog, Russian, um, cold turkey enthusiast, you know, bow tie wearer, uh, someone who talks in a lot of different fields, like an expert, hates apple cider, um, you know, all these different kinds of things. It appears that he has been exposed. So he's somebody who's actually a climate change denier. Climate change is a fact. The studies are very clear. You can even see it going on with your very two eyes with all of the different natural disasters happening all over the country. You can see the increase in hurricanes, for example. You can see the snowstorms going on in Texas. I think there's even supposed to be one, another one coming up. Um, I don't know about y'all, but here in California, it's February, and it hasn't looked gloomy in a month or two. So the month of January and February have been sunny almost every fucking day which is very, very bizarre, really, really weird. Um, but anytime you see somebody, this is kind of like a rule, maybe it's like a razor. Anytime you see somebody like this, like citing one singular scientist in an entire field. So if you're talking about climate change and you're citing a singular scientist, or maybe you're talking about like, I don't know, economics or something, and you're citing one singular economist, something like that, right? Because all these areas have their own consensus on different issues, whether that be man-made climate change or, you know, whether the earth is flat and things of that nature. Anytime there you have to point out one singular expert, it typically means that your opinion is incorrect. That's why you have to point out the one singular person, because in reality, the consensus is 98 to 99 percent of studies, you know, say one way. And 98 to 99 percent of scientists believe one way. And those few that don't are either corrupted or not maybe not corrupted in the sense you're thinking maybe they're just bad people right bad people can become experts right there's nothing about being an expert that makes you a good person but you know you could be stupid um, but also you know you could be getting paid by coca-cola for example so there are very, very different ways you could be getting paid by big oil you could be getting paid by all these different things that make it so that you give out comments that are extremely misleading and lies and so Jordan Peterson put together, he, he pushed one, one scientist, and it turns out that this guy is getting a lot of money from oil companies. This is the source for author Jordan Peterson's recent claim that climate change cannot be modeled was a climate science denier who received money from a libertarian think tank funded by oil companies. The Canadian psychologist was widely criticized for spreading climate misinformation this week after telling the popular Joe Rogan podcast 11 million subs that climate models were full of errors that increase over time and that climate is too complicated to model accurately. Yeah, so that's a great thing that, that Jordan Peterson just does. Um... He just tries to create like this uh, sense of ambiguity going on. Everything Jordan Peterson does is just all ambiguity. You can never pin him down or he's trying to make it so that something can't be pinned down. So, yeah, we just can't tell about the climate because it's just too complicated, right? This is coming from a psychologist that's hilariously stupid even at psychology. Um says Peterson responded to the criticism on Thursday and tweets to his 2.2 million followers, citing a book called Hot Talk, Cold Science, Global Warming's Unfinished Debate by S. Fred Singer. Singer, an American atmospheric physicist who died in 2020, uh, argued that climate change was natural and not increased by human-caused carbon dioxide emissions. He argued that warming caused by greenhouse gas emissions was trivial. He's not even, he's a physicist, he's not even an environmental scientist. A lot of people do this kind of thing. They'll be a physicist or they'll be a geologist or something like that. And then, you know, they'll be uh, given the expert opinions when we have the environmental scientist, you know, on like the ICPP, for example, um, ICCP, you know, given their studies and all of these different scientists coming together. Um, it says in 1990, he founded the Science and Environment Policy Project that expounded these views. In 2014, DeSmog revealed that Singer received $5,000 a month from U.S. right-wing think tank, the Heartland Institute, which has taken donations from oil interests, including ExxonMobil and the Koch family. Singer was a speaker at a 2012 Heartland conference where sponsors received $67 million from Exxon, Koch, and the Scaife Family Foundations. Um, Singer frequently criticized climate modeling by UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, uh, 
the peer-reviewed authority on climate science made up of hundreds of climate scientists. In 2016 article for American Thinker, Singer wrote, The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, has to provide proof for significant human-caused climate change, yet their climate models have never been validated and are rapidly diverging from actual observations. The real threat to humanity comes not from any trivial greenhouse warming, but from cooling periods creating food shortages and famines. So, um... He's citing a book from, again, one scientist instead of talking about how literally 99% of studies on the issue of climate change say that man-made climate change is real. And then you have Kermit the Frog here sending a tweet about a book um, from an astrophysicist. Uh, which one are you going to take? 99% of the scientific consensus or Kermit the Frog's random astrophysicist? I think I'm going with the former. Um, and so this is the thing. So when you have someone like, oh, check out Dr. Robert Malone's or whatever, and it's like, okay, he's one doctor, 98% of scientists are saying one thing, 98% of the studies are saying one thing, and you brought on a random doctor who's shilling his vitamins on his website, 50 bucks a bottle. Which one am I going to go with? Which one is the right one to go with? There's an obvious right answer, right? You go with the scientific consensus on what the data says, not a book called Hot Talk, Cold Science by an astrophysicist. Um, and you can see the guy was getting $5,000 a month in 2014. Dude, that's a fucking salary. So we're talking about like selling out. I mean, this is really extreme in terms of selling out because typically when you think of selling out, maybe it's like, I don't know, you're thinking of just getting like a few hundred or maybe a thousand or a few thousand, you know, maybe two or 3000 or something like that. $5,000 a month. That's a salary. That's a $60,000 a year salary. That's higher than the median income. I think that's the higher than the median income in the United States. So he's getting paid higher than the median income by these interests. And from these interests perspective, you know, the Coke family, you know, all these frackers and stuff like that, Exxon Mobil, it is totally in your best interest to pay these people because obviously they're going to change the minds of or try to change the minds of people so that they don't vote against your interests, which is allowing fracking, allowing oil, allow allowing the fossil fuel industry to continue, right? And so in your from your perspective, that's just that's that's nothing to you if you're the Coke family, five thousand a year for someone to publish bullshit uh lies. So this is the thing. And so this kind of thing happens. And so what I'm seeing now is all these shady grifters, Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, they're like, oh Check out this one dude, like this one doctor, this one scientist. He's literally citing an astrophysicist when talking about global warming, climate change, environmental science, and he's citing an astrophysicist. That's also another funny thing I'll notice. It'll be like somebody who's not even an expert in the field. I think like Joe Rogan thought that, uh, you know, he had thought that, um, I forgot exactly, you know, what, what he thought it was, like evolutionary virology or something like that. Um... It was something to do, you know, his expertise field in in terms of coronavirus. Or maybe it was a different field. I'm blanking on it right now. But you see this kind of thing too, where often it will be like, wait a second, he's not even a he's not even an expert in the field. He's not an environmental scientist, he's an astrophysicist. Um and so clearly you'll see this too. It'll be like doctors who are coming on Joe Rogan's podcast. They're shilling. I've literally seen one where the dude was shilling his website where he was selling vitamins $50 a pop for each bottle. And so it's like, dude, just because you're a doctor or a scientist doesn't mean you're a god. Okay, and that's the thing. That's why it's important to go off based off of consensus. The primary thing you want to go off of is the consensus of what the science actually says. So what do the studies say on the particular issue? So 99% of studies based on uh, uh, investigating climate change say that man-made climate change is real. So that's what you go off of. Uh, you could also go off of like a 98% of scientists thing. That's obviously still good. It still has uh, a lot of merit, um, but it's not that primary bar that you're looking for of what does the science say, right? Uh, the scientists can get it wrong, but, you know, there's always going to be like one or two of these random people, you know, that you can bring on, but that's not going to change what the consensus is 98 plus percent. So you're going to see this kind of thing a lot. Jordan Peterson is a clown. He's a greedy douchebag, uh, loves going cold turkey off of the benzos. Uh, but yeah, Jordan Peterson, uh, he and his climate change buddy getting exposed.